Hey you guys, this is Mr. Sal. I'm going to go ahead and do this problem. It was requested by a student, and so I hope it helps all you guys out as you study and try to do the homework and prepare for the test in midterms. The first thing we need to do in this problem is to distribute the 3, which we will do. I'm just going to use that, uh, these distributive rainbows, which just indicate that we're multiplying here. And after di distribution, of course, 3 times 5 is 15, and 3 times 2 is 6. Now, we would consider this a negative 6, just because that was a minus, and that would have been considered a negative 2 term. What we want is common denominators now, and if you watched the previous video, which I recommend in order to help you with this problem, we know from these three numbers specifically, or even the fourth number, if we give that 6 a denominator of 1, is that the common denominator we are seeking here is 60. So I'm going to proceed a little bit differently than I did the previous problem. Just to, and, and it just may help us to understand what we're really trying to find here. So I've rewritten the equation that we have now here below with denominators of 60. And we know now that all we really need to find are the numerators. So we'd have to multiply 4 by 15, so we'll multiply the 1 by 15 as well, giving us a denominator here in the first term of 15. And we are adding this. We would multiply the 5 by 12, and so the 1 by 12 as well, giving us a 12 right here. Next, we will multiply the 6 by 10, and so we'll multiply the 15 by 10 as well, giving us 150. 1 times the 60 would give us the 60, and so 6 times 60 gives us a 360, and that was minus. So here is our new equation, all with uh, common denominators. So what we can do is rewrite this problem without any denominators, and we get 15x plus 12 equals 150x minus 360. Now, I will point this out now, but some of you may have realized that you could have simplified that 15 sixths by dividing both of those by 3. And that would have simply, that would have just simplified it, maybe used a different uh, factor than we used, a different common denominator, which we used a 60, and that's okay. It's just going to require some simplifying in the end, and that's okay too. Now, in the previous example, I put the x's on the right. This time, I'll put them on the left just because it doesn't matter which side we choose. The 15x is on the right side, uh, is on the left side, which is the correct side, which is what I meant to say. Uh, in fact, maybe this one I'll even do the switch and stay game, just to show you guys that you can do it, even on these smaller problems. So, I'll draw a line through the equal sign, bringing the equal sign down. I've already chosen a side for the x's on the left, and then I need to go through this problem from left to right, and we'll play the switch and stay game. So 15x stays because it's on the left side, so it stays a positive 15x. Positive 12 will switch sides, so we switch the sign. If it crosses the line, we change the sign. 150x is on the wrong side, so it will switch to a negative 150x. And a negative 360 stays on the right side. It's a negative 360. Now we'll add and subtract, so 15x minus 150x, that gives us a negative 135x. Negative 12 minus 360 is a negative 372. Now I may be going through this a little fast, you may need to pause the video at times and do some of this on the calculator if you cannot do it in your head. And the final step in solving this equation is to divide both sides by a negative 135 in order to get that x by itself. So x equals a positive 124 over 45. And we can simplify that by dividing both the numerator and de denominator by 3. And that gives us our answer. Again, I highly recommend checking that. We did that in the second example in this set. So I recommend watching that video in order to help you out in solving these equations. Thanks for watching, you guys. Uh, if you have any other questions on this video, email me or just leave a comment below. Thanks again. Have a good one.